Britain Computer Tech Tutorials. Today what I'm going to show you how to do is how to put in a auto shape. And then inside of the auto shape we're going to put in a picture. We're also going to show you how to put in word art. And this is going to kind of draw attention to uh, a picture in your uh, story. So this is direction 16, 17, and 18 of your newspaper project. Let's show you how we do it. So last time we got all this done, we got your newspaper name, the headline, subtitle, a couple pictures, put it in the columns, put it in the inside edition. Now what we're going to do is go to the insert menu. From insert, we go over to shapes, we go all the way to the bottom, we do one of these stars or banners. I like one of these two. And in the available space, we draw this shape, kind of like that. Try it to go past the, uh, the margins area, otherwise it won't print out. After you've done that, then it's time to put in a picture. So to put in a picture, you right-click on the shape, go to Format Shape. That'll pop up with all these properties. What we want to do is we want to fill it. Not with a solid fill, not with a gradient fill, but with a picture or texture fill. And the picture you want to put in is from File. So you go to From File, and you're going to try to find some picture that you can put in there. So let's see if we can find a, a fish picture in there, and we'll put it into the drawing and there it is there's a guy swimming around there's the fish kind of attacking him and looking trying to draw some attention to your story hopefully people that are passing by having a good time going through the walmart checkout are going to see this little picture and they'll say whoa maybe i'd like to buy that newspaper so the only other thing we need to do is we need to insert some word art so we're going to do it again the insert menu click on word art pick a style you like it doesn't matter what it is any of them will work it's your own world you get to create it any way you want. So then you can go ahead and type it in. We're going to type in, uh, let's type in fish attack. Fish attack. After we got that in there, we can, the good thing about word art is you can drag it around. So I'm going to drag it around down here, put it in that available spot. Looks like I need to shrink it down just a little bit to get it to fit. And you want, basically want to take up whatever room you've got left with this word art. And it can be in any spot you want, kind of in there. And that does it. That's our uh, newspaper project. Thanks for watching this series. I'm going to do another one on how to make a storybook coming up soon. Thank you very much.